uh, by the way, we swear. A is that okay? okay? Yes, okay. that is fine. Because <laughs> I can hold back. No, you do not need to hold back. All right, let's fucking go. <laughs> let's fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> and family welcome back to another episode of working on it we are so successful we have a legend in the room today dixie d'amelia yeah. <laughs> you're a legend one clap, one clap. jesus christ oh my god, oh my god. that's Dude, scary we are fucking thriving we are so successful we had paris yeah. hilton and now you oh my god i don't know how we're gonna keep talking we can't we can't talk this now we're, we're done from here we should stop right after this oh my god hi hi how are you Freaking out. I mean, I'm obsessed with you. Like, Stop. This, I was this like, is wait, crazy. she knows who I am. Yes. I'm, my sister and I are like in love, Stop. listening to you for years, like everything, like huge fans. See, you're <laughs> one of those 20 year olds though, because you're only 20. Holy crap. That goes, oh my God, I listened to you when I was a kid. And then I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> I'm almost 30. It's happening. Right? Dude. How old yeah. were you when bass came out? You don't have to know the exact math, but you were young, huh? I'm not sure, but my favorite song is like "I'm Gonna Lose You." Oh wow, I, that's like Ooh. my go-to like cover song. I love singing that. Like Yay. my sister and I love that song. Oh my god, thank you. That's, that's a good one. That comes from your soul. You know? That's a good one. Yeah, mm -hmm. I wrote that about my brother actually about him. Like you know when you have nightmares that your favorite person died mm -hmm. and then you wake up and go, "Are they okay?" It wasn't me. It was the other brother. It was the other brother. Justin. <laughs> so I woke up, that's made sure he was sweet. alive, and he was. But yeah, then I was like, "What's my love song about this?" A lot of my songs are actually about my brothers. <laughs> and then I turn them into love songs. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, you've been working on music for a while now. Yes. Um, started recording like two years ago and then worked on an album, had it all set. And then I realized like, oh, this could be so much better. So started fresh. No way. And then started fresh again. And then finally in February of this year, I found like my core group. So me, another writer and a producer. And we just like have been working wow. since Who's that February. other writer? Um, Jenna Andrews and Stephen Kirk. Amazing. I've been working with them and I've just like felt like I could actually talk to them and just yeah. connect. And sometimes when I'm like in a room with like these amazing writers, I'm like, I don't, I can't no, tell you that. No, it's literally dating. Yeah. It's like dating, for <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, it's a blind date. Like, I, yeah, because I could write a song with, um, I could write a song with anybody, but I can't have a fun time with anybody, you mm -hmm. know, with everybody. And some sessions, some songwriting sessions, you know this, are like pulling teeth. And you're like, I just want this to feel like fun art. And I wanted to express my feelings and it turns into a nightmare of a day. Mm -hmm. So it really is important of like who is in the room with you. Yeah. So it's good that you like took your time and found your people. It's very yeah. impressive. Like we did writing camps, which we're, I don't regret like spending the time doing all that because I yeah. learned so much about myself and like what I want to sound like. But mm -hmm. I would go into one room and can spill everything if I felt comfortable and then go in the other room like, yeah, I don't know. I'm like happy, I guess. I don't know. Like I couldn't <laughs> say anything because it just was like, especially with guys, I had a hard time like yeah. connecting with. I don't know. So no, for sure. There's a lot of guys a in the guys. songwriting world. I feel like I it's know. dominated by men. We need more women. <laughs> They're there. We just like got to get them more opportunities. And, mm -hmm. and I like that. One of your writers is a girl, right? Yes. Love that. She's like, I don't know. She's like me, like an anxious ball, but like we both like spit things back and forth and just everything I've done with them, I've just felt like it's me. And even if like the song, like the songs on the album, there's some that like not particularly anything that happened, but it's like, I feel this, like let's bring this whole emotion out and like get oh, it yeah. out. So it's been so much fun. Yeah, I have songs, don't worry about that. I have songs <laughs> on my album that are like, I hate you right now. And I'm like, Daryl, don't worry, baby. I love you. This is not about you, but yeah. I need to get this on the album. It's mm -hmm. art, it's creative I wrote a song. expression. Oh God, can I talk about anything? I can, fuck it, I'm gonna talk about it. I wrote a song <laughs> called- whoa, 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 whoa. Be careful now. <laughs> Sal I hate Sal it. Sal you hate always... this. What are you allowed to say? I'm not allowed to say anything. I don't. I say whatever all the time. I like <laughs> managers like. I, I feel like I get. I never really get in trouble because at the end of the day, like if you're not supposed to say it. Why? Like I what's uh, I don't know. It's just getting I it like out that. earlier. I'm not like singing okay. the song. I'll say the concept. <laughs> I won't say the name. I wrote a song about 
telling a man like grow up you need to oh <laughs> <laughs> so the song's called grow up it's about like you know like yo grow up um and it was for a minute it was towards my younger brother <laughs> and i was like you need to grow up that wasn't about me you stay here brother <laughs> i love you staying here no yeah i was just worried about you too of like grow up you know so and every I day i'm trying into, to tell myself like i gotta grow up this is getting out of hand. <laughs> it's also to me like when i was having a baby i fully felt like 15 years old but i was 27 but emotionally i was like what am i doing you <laughs> know? Oh, it's, insane. it's insane but yeah so i but I, you can flip it you can flip a lyric which is so cool mm-hmm. to ma- mean a whole nother concept but you're still attached to it yeah so even if you or if you hear songs that people are pitching to you you can be like i don't really feel like that but i can relate it in this way yeah it's that, just awesome i've done that where like we'll change like a couple things and i'm like wait this is my exact situation or i had a song that like i loved and i kind of put it towards one thing and then something happened in my personal life i'm like this is the exact representation of what just happened and f you and <laughs> now i have the song yeah. but it actually life wasn't like art. written for that Love like it. manifested it. <laughs> Smart. Yes, manifesting. i think what's hard and uh for you guys to do like i saw on your show you were saying um, you know, all of my old songs, I don't like them anymore. I, 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 they're not <laughs> oh my God, good. It's like, so hard. get rid of them. They're done. Like, that happens to you all the time. I feel I like. had another, like, superstar. I'm not going to say her name, but a superstar artist looked at me and was like, oh, I fully hate my whole second album. And I'm like, <laughs> what? It's so good. <laughs> but yeah, my old songs, when I hear Lips Are Moving, I'm like, oh my God, embarrassing. Like, Please not I again. And song. Pepe, my yeah, manager, Pepe is still like, that's the one. That's the best jam. one. I also have to acknowledge my gorgeous, fierce glam right now. Because usually oh, on this yeah. podcast, I have no to none. Um, she's fierce. You're Listen, so fierce. I, I'm so fierce right now. <laughs> but it's funny. My mom came downstairs because I was so nervous. I was like, what if I'm so glammed up and she doesn't have any makeup on? Like, you guys are stunning no matter what you look like, no matter how much glam you have on. And my mom ran downstairs and was like, don't worry. She has full glam on. And I was like, yes. <laughs> But I look like this, and I've never done this eye ever. This is a lot for me. Because tomorrow, I have a photo shoot, a very important photo shoot. And I was doing glam tests. What mm-hmm. is that called? Have you ever done that? Like a trial? A trial, yeah. You haven't done that? You just I always just have great do glam. <laughs> the only reason I did glam today is because I have so, so much promo that I have to do. And I was like... Right? That's why Smart, I asked you. you I was like, let me just do like it all 18 done. things yeah. going on today? Today's actually pretty chill. I have this and then therapy, actually. Oh, <laughs> and then the therapy's going to be like, wow, you're stunning. Like, mm-hmm. really dressed up. But I need to do... I need to tease my songs. So yes. <laughs> that's what I'll be doing. So can we talk about the single that's coming out in two days, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, two wild. days. Wild. Yes. It's called Wild. Yeah. So in two days. <laughs> so in two days, this song will finally be out. How long I have you had the song? Because I know for my single that is released by now or no? No. No. <laughs> is not out. Has been sitting in my computer for months. Mm-hmm. So how long have you had Wild? Wild is pretty recent. Like two oh, months. Awesome. But there's some songs on the album. Like I had one like a year and a half so it's yeah. very all over the place but like we re-recorded it and redid it <gasps> just to wow. I my voice has grown like so much in the past year and yeah just it does like that. everything so I was like this sucks I need to redo it <laughs> <laughs> I sound it. so bad I think that you know that though I'm so lazy I'm like nah it's fine but um my family has noticed that on the my fourth album my voice is better than the third mm-hmm. like my husband said she be singing and i was like never say that ever again <laughs> she's <laughs> but singing she, she's singing. but you are but you yeah, are it constantly evolves and i feel like the more you use it it's a muscle mm-hmm. and it's just gonna get better and better and better and better right am i right to? yeah you're right, yeah. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> but just so you know i fully sing incorrectly like if a vocal coach watched me sing they'd be like no 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 <laughs> even my speaking voice when i went to all these doctors to help me they were like we don't want to change your personality. We just want to change exactly how you talk. And I was like, okay. So interesting. Yeah. So I've never like sang correctly or ha- I don't know. I've done vocal coaches. I've done everything. I just. But it's you. So it's yeah, like. It's me. So yeah. it is what it is. And I know my strengths and that's about it. Um, but I wanted to ask you like about photo shoots because your psycho music video was bomb. Thing. I've watched it three times. <laughs> oh my um, god, that's crazy! Because I can't, I can't get over the glam. It's so gorgeous. The outfits were everything. The song is a bop. It's Thanks. so good. But um, for like that creative world, I have to like, I can't help it. I dive into that stuff. 
Like I told her today, I was like, I want a fierce eye. Let me see what you could do. <laughs> do you get involved with that? Like with Pinterest and all that stuff? Because an album takes so much to do. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to know how involved you are. I think with glam specifically my the people i work with all the time are so talented i'm usually like y'all are have fun like i want anyone who i work with like i wanted to work together so they have like an idea of what we're doing what i'm wearing and i just like i've never had to change my makeup i've never been like can you fix this so i think i just trust the people i work with and they're That's so, so amazing. nice <laughs> i'm too picky <laughs> like I, I think you just have like a, a little OCD. I have OCD. Super, super Like today, I was like, are these, like, I have, um, if you're just listening to this, I have fierce eyeliner that goes into the crease. And I was like, is this even? Do I look cross-eyed? <laughs> you know, I worry about all this stuff. Maybe you're teaching me I need to stress less. I love this. I, f I try to be super easy with everything. Like, it's all going to work out, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I need this attitude. That's that 20 year old attitude. Yeah, yeah, just That's full that, of like, hope and like everything's, yeah, you just happening. go with the flow. <laughs> You're so chill and sweet. Okay. <laughs> also, this is why you do need to work with Dimitri more. Mm -hmm. Our hairstylist, y'all have seen him on this podcast many a times. He did um, a full wig on Ryan and turned it <laughs> to me. But Dimitri will yeah. bring you like, a bob here that's turquoise and you will look bomb like mm -hmm. he can do anything i even made him do like a bow made out of hair in the middle of my head on top of a wig one day and he did it for disney it was so smart oh my god but that He's full glam lifestyle i don't know how you guys do it i hated every, like i hated it <laughs> I, I was just I, I talking just like about the, that. like the, the soft brushes i can't wait nice. to rip this off my face yeah the, the whole time like claw it's off. annoying because like i I'm going on tour this summer and I'm touring a big time rush. And I'm like, I have to be up two hours before you guys because I need to do glam oh, yeah. and like all that. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. the worst is being like near male mm -hmm. artists. And in they're general. like, let's go. Like literally <laughs> my older brother who's on my management company is Harry Styles. But that dude looks gorgeous day and night. He doesn't have to do anything. He could throw on the most bizarre clothes and look fine mm -hmm. you know like even daryl's like oh my god <laughs> like like we're and it's just like i'm in three hours of glam mm -hmm. like crawling to get there at 5 a.m yeah i feel like i mean why not just go without makeup but then it's like it's i don't know it's so weird like why i don't know i don't have an opinion on it because <laughs> like, i'm because so I, you know, I do love glam but like i wish i didn't have to do it not have to do it i don't know no i get it it's tedious it's just like it's you want to look like Cool. Fierce all the time. But I hate waking up early. <laughs> it's you the worst. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you kind of like waking up early. I just well, now I have it. to. I have a child. So it's 6.30 <laughs> every day. Oh, my God. And this morning. Sorry, Daryl. Whatever. Fuck you. I have to tell the story. <laughs> um, Daryl was like, sleep in tomorrow. Don't like till 7. Don't wake up when you hear me in the shower because I will get up earlier than you. I'm like, okay, whatever. Did he have a party in the shower? A party. <laughs> a Jamming music. Not, no. Worse, snot rocketing. Oh, snot that rocketing kind of a party. At six thirty in the morning. Oh, Megan's went, absolute I said, nightmare. I think you're all, scarred from my life. my phobia in life is snot. Is and I, every time I'm in anything public, out, anything out of the if I'm at face. Disney World, if I'm in a mall, I or, or outside a mall, I see men hawk loogies. Oh. It's like a curse <laughs> that someone has cursed upon me. How'd you play baseball with us? So you played little league. We all oh, just snot rocket and spit. Yeah. I just don't. I can't hawk a loogie myself. I'll throw up. Like I can't do it. And I wake up at 6.30, like, just hearing. Oh and I'm like, God. are you okay? What is He's going on? He's just an old dad I, now I making dad there. noises. I walked in the shower and I saw him and he was like, hey, you okay? <laughs> I was like, maybe shut the door. <laughs> I saw a TikTok of this mom recently. This is really gross. I'm sorry. But it was this mom and she's like, oh my gosh, everyone thinks this is so gross. Like I do this. And she takes her baby and sucks out the snot from the oh, baby's yeah. nose and then spits it out and she's like this oh, is how yeah. i get rid of its boogers and oh yeah like, oh yeah no. we bought that tool and i won't i can't use it oh you it. did oh yeah no with it's her supposed mouth to block it oh wait excuse me like she like no it's a tube right she put she her, put her, mouth her on face it? on like oh, her mouth fuck. on the baby's nose no. oh that's commitment i <laughs> no no i had to close that's the app disgusting. i was like no i can't do that oh my god that's my house <laughs> there's there's like a safer one where it's a tube and it, it stops the boogers up here, but you're supposed to suck it out, you know? And like siphoning like, gas? Yeah, 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 literally. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it didn't work for us, though. Disgusting. But babies bugs, get dude. gnarly boogers, man. Yeah, they do. My kid, every day, a new fucking huge booger. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> God, get it. 
the fuck were we talking about sorry, before Snot know. Rockets? Sorry, 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 sorry. Waking albums, up early, albums, albums. glam oh. press, <laughs> um, photo place. shoots. You got it's you. You have to do this a lot. We don't prepare. We have to do a lot. Okay. <laughs> no, um, we just have to circle back to what we were doing. Yes. Um, uh, TikTok. You run TikTok. Yes. <laughs> I love TikTok. I'm like decent. I feel like I am too. <laughs> Shut up. Fucking that's I'm the TikTok. Right? I'm decent. I'm decent. Who says that? I did. She's okay. Um, she's okay. She has like a little following on there. <laughs> um, I just don't have good ideas, and you film like everything. I just went on yours today. Oh my god! <laughs> and you have like eight of you just like lip syncing the new hits and, and my like, feet. Yeah, super. Smart. And your feet? What's going on with your feet? What was that? I don't know. I and those got it. the most They're like gorgeous. attention out of everything. But I can I can like move my toes individually. Mm. I think that's so cool. And I didn't know like. I'm moving I was, my toes now. I'm moving my toes. <laughs> I was like reading the comments. Are like I'm saving this. You're gonna, I can't and do I didn't, it individually. Yeah, I don't. It's one of my special talents. But wow, you can like I can move the second one on its own, and like none of the others move. So I just posted that, and then I posted the other foot because I have like one ugly foot and one cute one. So like oh I needed to goodness. post the good side too. Yes. Yeah. You had to. <laughs> I have to. Yeah. I have to show they don't both look like that. Unfortunately, those are going to get a lot of attention for all the wrong reasons. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Careful with the feet posts. Oh, yeah. There's, there's a but. lot of feet lovers. No judgment. Lovers. That's just what it is. But um, I mean, I wanted to ask what it's like um, because you are lucky because you have your sister with you mm -hmm. in this chaotic world that you're living in. And you guys are both successful <laughs> at such a young age. It's you like pivoted so well, like you figured it out. Like I fucked <laughs> up. Megan got famous, and I didn't. I didn't. I didn't sing. I didn't do anything. I should have started acting or something. I you was were just like, like Be an actor, I got brother. this. Nothing. He did, but I gave him a camera and I said, "Take pictures of me." Yeah, and he did. I guess what I got to do is party like a rock star, and not be did. a rock star. And I, I did. Now Careful I'm with that. One day when you're allowed to drink at 21 next mm -hmm. year. Yeah, don't fall for all the shit that I did. I like went out every single night, so I had to be at the best clubs. You know what will help you? Shit. I don't know. With me, I didn't want to be like drunk and then like on camera, you know? And everyone's <sighs> going to film your whole life. So just yeah, party, I mean, you party. Have fun, but... live it up. I just got sucked in all the stupid shit. Do you get paparazzi a lot? I don't really leave the house too much. Same, girl. <laughs> I never get paparazzi. And I was like, no, oh, I don't go anywhere. So. I was, yeah, I never really leave the house. And I have like my couple places, but no one really knows where I go. But there was a time during like, it was a couple months where they were following me everywhere, like waiting outside my apartment building for me to leave Damn. and then follow me to my parents' house. And like, I was like, yeah, this is getting weird. And... I would like run screaming out of my parents' house, like, don't take pictures of me. <laughs> it's scary, right? Dude. But it is also like, I look at it both ways. Like obviously privacy and like safety is super important, but that's so cool. Like someone wants to take pictures of you that uh. they're following you. Like that's sick. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a great way to look at it. <laughs> yeah, it's a great way. I love that. For a in while New York, I was. It gets scary for me. In they find you anywhere, anywhere. in well, New York. Well, they chase I... and they trick and manipulate Yeah, they'll just follow too. the car. Like They'll be like, my son really wants a picture. Is that okay? And I'm like, your son doesn't want anything. And then I'm like, gah, 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 gah. I'm like, you trapped me here so he could get me. Like they team up. It's aggressive. In New York, I feel scared. Out here, I don't get anywhere. It's great. Nobody yeah. recognizes me. Yeah. Well, you don't look like so fierce all the time. time. <laughs> Should I though? Should this be the new me? It's, uh, My, the like last it's episode we put out, I had a Winnie the Pooh t-shirt on. So this yeah, is, this is a big 180. Gucci. We're elevating. Charm will be proud. She um, wanted you to turn it up. She wants me to turn up Charm, my choreographer. You should work with Charm. Yeah. She would love you. I She's incredible. To, I don't dance. <laughs> I know, but she, yeah, she but helps she, with everything. You, you will dance. Actually, you could dance, girl. What are you talking about? Your sister's a dancer. Yeah. I, everyone <laughs> in my family's a dancer. All of my girl cousins are all dancers except so for it's me. In your blood. It skipped me. It went to everyone. Have you tried? And you're like, not doing this. I grew up doing break dancing. And oh, period. Done. I'm just like, my. Mm, it doesn't my arms well, don't Sean, move seen the because you should have seen I will show you a video of me in 19 so embarrassing <laughs> in the bass videos oh my god in the rehearsals I was like who let me out of the house but um, I've gotten better because Charm teaches me literally like don't look at this and judge this but like how, she'll be like literally move your arm here and like places me in the right position mm -hmm. like she'll be like like Dua Lipa have you seen her on tour lately mm -hmm. Charm LaDonna oh yeah. Yes, queen. She'll find Charm that Ladonna. inner coolness 
inside of you and bring it out to life. She'll bring, yeah, she'll bring you to the like, full potential. Amazing. I've right? been watching all of her videos. Oh my God, I went to the show. It was incredible. I was like, damn, she's a superstar. And I was standing there to charm. She was like, yeah, I she do worked that. Really hard. Like, <laughs> yeah, she's incredible. Trust me, she, she does everything. Um, but even when I'm like just with my microphone, she's like, here's how you can move your body to look comfortable. And because performing for me is spooky dookie. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, I'm from the behind the scenes of like, the songwriting world in the studio where no one sees me mm -hmm. to like then had to go on stage in front of 20,000 people and was like, <laughs> let's go and like dance. Did you see I would just I see just every did? time I see her on stage, I'm like, how is she doing this? Faking it. Yeah. Um, do you feel comfortable on stage? I love being on stage. That's like my, that was the best part of all of this. I did like the Jingle Ball tour last year. Yes, and that's I had a hard tour. So much fun. Like Good for you, even though I knew like I felt like when I was on stage there because it was a group of people and I was one of the first people to perform at every show. I was like, these people aren't here to see me, but I'm gonna make them here to see me. And I just want to have fun. I was very nervous, like especially the first couple shows and got better as I went on. The worst part was the talking. I hate talking in, on interviews? stage. Oh, on stage? I hate that. Well, I just want <laughs> Some people talk too much. Just Some like, people do Here's too, the next too much. Song. I just want to like, do like a voiceover recording so I yes. don't have to say, like, it's so embarrassing. I'm like, hi. I'll do like a full well, performance and like, hey guys. Tour, you, know, you could like record it before and it's like on the big screen. And never you know? talk like, once. Thank you for coming. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then you come out and you sing. Yeah. There's like fun ways to get around it. I don't know. Yeah, I hear old videos of me and I fully become a different person. I'm like, how y'all feeling today? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh my God. Our, it's, it's our dad. Put your hands up. Our dad's like, very yelling, soulful. Yelling. So we... Charm was like, hey, maybe don't yell at that. Yeah. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm just like being loud. No. But yeah. you're, you're pretty good at it though, luckily. Like you could do a little stand up. I got uh, into this in place where songs. I would start doing these gigs because they played so well. But I would start doing these private gigs private with like gigs. Mm -hmm. suits, people in suits. Corporate. Corporate. <laughs> like for printers or something. Printers? And yeah, it was like okay. H, H some, HP. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, and like the crowd was so stiff. They were all in front of their bosses. Nobody wanted to get lit. And I just went off and I was like, get drunk in front of your boss. It doesn't matter. And they <laughs> all came to the front. They got so drunk. They were FaceTiming their kids and I was grabbing their phones. And then I realized the power of like, oh, I can do like a little stand up thing. Mm -hmm. And like break my crowd, like break the ice. You yeah. Know? yeah you or when you call out specific people, you're like a hero, you know? True. Uh, do that. I like watched, I watched so many performances recently because I'm trying to like learn and mm -hmm. get mentally prepared before I do it. And I think Bozzy, when we were on the Jingle Ball He's tour, was great. the best one at like, put your lights up, sing yeah. this, do that. And yeah. everyone would do it. And I was like, I can't, I can't tell anyone what to do. That's so Yes, you can, <laughs> Dixie. So scary. <laughs> Oh but my god, that's so cute. I've been having like dreams about him, like nightmares. Oh no. So Charm will help you with this. She literally choreographed um on some tours and mine of like, here's when you ask them to put the lights up. Like mm -hmm. literally. Yeah. There's people to help you with that. But don't be afraid of those dreams. We had a dream specialist on. It's it's your subconscious oh, yeah. preparing you for that moment. So by the time it comes, you're gonna be fucking ready to rock. I love ready that. Ready to rock. Yeah. I'm ready. Um, big time I, rush, dude. Big time rush. That's huge. That's crazy. That's <laughs> a like, big fucking tour. I'm rewatching their show right now, and it's yeah. so weird. I'm like, hi guys. <laughs> I've, I've met them three times now, and I'm so awkward. I'm like, hi. I'm not a fan, but like, I'm the biggest fan. But let's just be chill. I'm so that's nervous. That's so cute. Okay, that's your age group. Yeah, got it. Nailed it. Yeah, I think so. Big time rush. Love it. Well, I'm so excited. <laughs> it's going to be so good. It's going to be awesome. They're also just very They're kind nice. yeah. and just like normal. They felt like, I felt like I was around like older brothers. It was so yeah. cool. Just they're like dumb boys. It was so nice. <laughs> it wasn't dumb like boys. scary. They weren't too serious, but also like professional. It was nice. Ugh, that's the best. That's the best. Um, I wanted to talk to you about mental health too. Mm -hmm. Because most of your songs are like about that. Yes. Which is awesome. Yeah. Um, when did it start? <laughs> My mental health? You, no, 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 sorry. Um, you, on your show. Birth. birth and, I mean, <laughs> I, since I was a kid, I pick my thumbs I pick the skin off till I'm like bleeding. Mm -hmm. Like I have always been anxious little kid and um, have little ticks. I'll, I'll bite my like lips until they're swollen and puffy. Mm -hmm. Do you have any of those thing, weird things that you do like me? <laughs> Um, good, don't. It's bad for you. And like, I'll have an interview the next day and be like, I'm bleeding. 
I, f- I don't know. I think my anxiety comes out in different ways, like physical pain. Yeah. And so I think that's what has been the hardest, especially getting like diagnosed with anxiety. Cause I'm mm-hmm. like, I'm having awful back pain or I literally feel like the I back. tore my ACL and like can't walk. My knee hurts so bad. I'm getting x-rays, no idea what's wrong. And wow. then finally discovering like that's anxiety. I think that's always been there with, and they would come out in migraines or stomach migraines or any kind of pain. And Damn. that's finally like slowed down. But that was, I think I've had that my whole life. Isn't it horrible when, well, it just makes me feel horrible. It sucks to hear. Like when I went to the emergency room one night, cause I was like, I'm having an allergic reaction. Mm-hmm. And the guy came in so sad looking. He was like, so you're, head. you're having a panic attack. Mm-hmm. And I was like, no, 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 no. I was like, I'm allergic to steak, clearly. <laughs> like, check again. Um, but yeah, it's frustrating and scary to find out how powerful your brain is. Because mm-hmm. I was having, like, pain throughout my whole back, but also fiery heat. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I'm sweating, and I don't understand what's happening. And sometimes I would have not vomit, but the other way. Um, <laughs> Aller. Um, yeah, so I had a lot of physical um, anxiety that, like, came out in weird ways. And I remember going to... A psychologist, right? Psychiatrist? Which one is it? Dr. Bowman? Me- Do you know him? No, I was like, going to say great. medicine is psychiatry. Med- medicine is psychiatry. They give you medicine. Words are tough for me still, but mental health is like cleared up because I went to a psychiatrist and I explained to him and I went to like acupuncture, everything, every therapist everywhere. And everyone's like, good luck. Um, <laughs> but when I went to a psychiatrist, he was like, oh, simple. Your chemicals are very off right now. Mm -hmm. And we can fix that with this type of medicine. Hmm. And I was like, shut up. Seriously. (laughs) And I was so happy. I was like shaking and crying. And then by the next, like the next month, I started this one medication and I, all of the vibrations stopped Hmm. and all of the weird shit happening to my body stopped. And I was like, I can live. I can Mm -hmm. have a life, you know? But in that moment of torture, you're like, this is going to be me for the rest of my life. Yeah. Like you've had that already at 20. <laughs> well, I, so I was on anxiety medication and like antidepressants when I was a sophomore in high school. And then one day I felt really sick at school and like I knew something was wrong. I have never felt this way before. And I was, school was, I spent the whole day in the nurse's office. School was over and I like walked outside and then fell to the ground and had seizures. <gasps> Stop it. And I've never had a seizure before. I didn't even know what, I've never seen anyone have a seizure. Got taken to the hospital and luckily they did like the camera test to like show it wasn't epilepsy, but it was um, psychogenic non-epileptic seizures caused by anxiety. So like after that, I kind of stepped back from medication. And I was just like, I was a shell of a human because I was taking so many different things to try to fix everything. And I was like, right. I need to fix the underlying stuff. And I'm 15 at the time. I would like, my brain is still developing. I shouldn't be putting all this medication in my body. So I kind of went back, switched schools. I was going to say, <laughs> too. Yeah, that's impressive. And just kind of got my act together. It took like a year to finally feel better after yeah. getting off all of that medication. Cause they were just like throwing things to try I'm to fix on, I everything. I think mine was so great. Cause it's such like a light dose. Yeah. Of like <laughs> one pill, you mm-hmm. know, it's like one thing. Yeah. I was on a um, hard dosage and really? I was just like so numb. And then now I'm just chilling and get and anxiety, you, but like different. It's and not, you know, like how to handle it now. I'm Cause much when better. you were 15, were you on TikTok? No, I was like, wow sophomore in high school chilling oh, like I was, <laughs> wow yeah but that was probably the peak of my worst anxiety and then it just kind of got like calmed down from there and i'm surprised like i mean how did you handle all the fame like like thrown on you at such a young age after all that i think the way i look at it is i've never been worse than that so i'm like this is great. If yeah. I can't, if I don't get back to that point, I feel great. Right. Like everything is just 
even when I feel really down, like in the show, when I got to that point, that was probably like the closest low point. Yeah. But it still wasn't as bad as it was when I was like 15. So it's crazy because that, that did, uh, it didn't look fun. Watching yeah. That. We watched the show. We love your <laughs> show. Yeah. I really love the director, whoever's doing it. Because when you see like the texting mm-hmm. and everything and all the, all the comments. comments, I'm like, holy fuck. <laughs> and y'all showed everything. That was yeah, ruthless. Yeah. That scene, like I was just really going through and I was driving around. I was like, this is unsafe for me to drive and I don't want to be home alone. I'm going to my parents' house. And I was like, I just went in and they were filming and they're like, can we film this? And I was like, whatever. (laughs) (laughs) Whatever. Which I'm like kind of glad they did because I, being able to see that in my growth from like then, I'm like, yeah, why was I, like, I hate that I felt like that. And I hate that I let myself feel like that. From the comments? Yeah, I was just... Girl, I would feel like that. Bless yeah, them. Dude, are you kidding are... me? I get one comment that's like, eh, but she was cool back in 2014. I'm like, I'm going to cry. Our mom deletes like, comments every single day just comments. to make sure that doesn't she happen. literally deletes bad comments. She stays up all night deleting bad comments. Like, that's so sweet. The way you handled it, I thought was legendary. I was like, I would have cried and quit and ran away. So you're strong and badass. And I look at you like a hero because I'm like, yeah, it's, if it's really I cool ever had to be moment. as famous as you, like it'd be nuts. <laughs> and I don't know how you handle it while looking so damn good. Like Thanks. you're doing great. <laughs> Thank and you've you. like barely just begun. Yeah. yeah, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. That's so crazy. <laughs> I feel like like retired. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, girl, you could be. That's why I'm spent. Like I'm spent. <laughs> you could be. That's so legendary. Oh. Um, okay, wait, we didn't even get to talk about wild though. Oh yeah. I've we got into snot and then we got into yeah. snot and that's what anxiety. it was. Wild. Okay. Wild. Yes. Um so the song is wild, coming out <laughs> May twenty seventh. And actually it was supposed to come out May twentieth. And Harry Styles', Harry Styles album, album is coming yeah. out May You're 20th. smart. I was literally just thinking, thank God she moved it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smart move. It was like, smart I move. saw, well, that was like the main reason, but also we needed to finish like the music video and all music that stuff. Videos, but I was like, man. you know what, guys, let's just push it back a week. Like, it's not worth it. It's nice to have that freedom. <laughs> yeah. We just pushed my single back another week because I'm like, I will not get the video done in two mm-hmm. weeks. <laughs> so I'm, the song is basically kind of the main idea of me, I would say, because I'm, I try to show my true self online, but I definitely do block the best part of me, which you block the best part of you from online Mm -hmm. because I just feel like I never want to lose that. And also it's, I get really nervous. I do get nervous in front of cameras or talking to people. And when I'm in a room and I feel safe, I'm my wildest and truest self. And it's like not even a going crazy thing. It's just like free. And um, I think like a lot of the lyrics in, in it are just, I'm very confused and going back and forth and not really sure what I feel, but I know who I am. And hopefully at one point I can show that to everyone. But right now when I'm with the people I trust and love and myself, like I will be that person. I hope that makes I sense. That. I yeah. have like I a, get that. Yeah. What if, I also want you to like. Can you do it on stage? Can we see the wild you on Wait, stage what? when she performs? Oh, are you gonna go wild? <laughs> no. Come on! Have a full choreographed dance move. No, I. I have been like mapping out what my performance of everything is going to look like, and I'm like so embarrassed. I drive on back roads on purpose so I can practice by myself and no one can see me, and I'm like. No, I do the same wow. thing. I do the same exact thing. If I'm in the back seat and Daryl's driving, I'm like, fully in a music, fully in a music video. Also in the shower, like when the steam has made it all foggy, I'm like literally performing ass naked. Like here's how I'll do it. I gotta stop with this move. It's gotta That's be deleted. Go-to, like, you know, um, but yeah, you have to do that. My every day, I'm like, I'm in a music video today. <laughs> uh, I How's think the music video? Is it awesome? It's cool. It's definitely so love the psycho music video that was really fun for me to do because fashion is like my other big focus but i wanted to make it more me my first song be happy and the music video Mm -hmm. for that was like so broken down and just me and emotions and feelings and i really liked that and i felt wild kind of had the same thing so it wasn't crazy glam or crazy shots and accessories it's just kind of me by myself going through all of these emotions and who am I going to be? And then it ends in like a, 
uh, rooftop scene. I can say that. I don't care. I know. I was like, <laughs> it comes out in two days. Wait. <laughs> That's but cool. it's, it's like a fun. nice little teaser. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right. Good stuff. I like oh that. Oh my God. It's so cool. I can't wait to watch it. I can't wait to hear the full song. I've heard the snippet on TikTok and it's so good. Thanks. But I like, I just want to hear the whole full thing. Fa- the oh. fashion thing. You, oh, you're, like, yeah. You're making oh. clothes and shit, right? Yeah. Like, you're doing yeah. Your own Charlie. Thing. So Charlie and I have a clothing line <sighs> called what Social What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? We're garbage. Okay. <laughs> we have a clothing line with uh, Hollister. It's called Social yes. Tourist. Yeah. It's like, in all the Hollister like, stores, all <laughs> and we're actually opening a store on Melrose, I which saw. I think is the freaking coolest thing. No, it's awesome. the coolest thing I'm ever. I'm so excited because I like before all this. When I was in high school, I worked at a clothing store, and I'm like, this is going to be the best store ever. It's going to be so neat because I like would spend out uh, spend hours folding all the clothes and make sure it was perfect. Because the store I worked at is like notoriously messy. I don't know if you know LF. It was like a. I don't know anything about anything. We're bad. <laughs> well i don't even think they're gonna make stores clothes. anymore <laughs> but it was like messy and everything wow. would be on the floor and i would spend hours i'm like this is gonna look so nice and so that's like my envision that's my vision for the clean social tourist store Love clean it. fun we're big fans of mad happy who i feel like are clean yeah. uh, i did their, their podcast I you did it. i want to do their mom I'm sure they'd love to have there. you yeah. i think they did dm me oh we're in the touch it it's in the works <laughs> we're in the works we're cool too um cool wow Heck yes. That's, that's awesome, yeah. Did we cover everything I wanted to cover? I didn't even prepare. I did. I totally did. Not. That's <laughs> but I did We're having fun. Oh, I just showed my dude. Crocs. Oh, how embarrassing. What um, do you mean? <laughs> Crocs, Crocs are, are never fun. embarrassing. Eat. Why are we matching too? So <laughs> cute. You can't see it, but we both have white Crocs. Let me pull something. So we're going to have you listen to <laughs> Megan's new single. Oh my gosh. I'm so scared. I'm so excited. So scared. <laughs> this it is, is crazy. Well, the scary part is we got to make sure the volume's all right because she likes to fucking blast that shit. Sure. Don't break I'll your ears, her. dude. Yeah, our ears are broken <laughs> between all the concerts, studio time. So Dixie's listening to the new single right now. Oh, she turned it up. <gasps> it's a good sign. She's blasting it. Oh, God, you can hear it. Can you hear it? Yep, but uh, we just have to talk over it. I'm going to make sure... Oh, her, that's smart. Turn her mic down. Yeah. I'm panicking, bro. I knew she's she she's like da- this. she's downloading she's all vibing. the information. Oh, a quick smile. Yeah. <laughs> okay, she quick she smile. definitely does not like having you watch her. Right, right, right. I should look away. <laughs> this is a lot of pressure. Why is she so gorgeous though? <laughs> oh, smirk. I literally was like, she's gonna be like. Yeah, you called it. It's literally a dance song. <laughs> She's like, I will not dance for you. Well, I respect that. She doesn't like the dance. She's like, dance is this not weird? For me. Is this weird that I make people do this? Screw no, it. I We're think, doing it's, it to I think it's great. We're going to make a compilation of everybody listening to okay, it. Okay, gorgeous. Who's our next guest? <laughs> I, d- I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Second verse, go. <laughs> How's it, how do we feel about the glam though? Comment below if you like it or if it's too fierce. I think oh, it's your, about your, time. Your makeup? Oh, do my under eyes look fucked up though? I mean, it's. See, I just worry that if I have too much dark, I look old. I wouldn't oh, say, I I wouldn't say old. You still look young. You look fierce. Dixie's just jamming out to the song right now. She looks like she's going to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> No, dude. She's she's, she's like uh, she's fine. vibing. She's examining. This is how she's been listening to songs. That's how you know, know she's a true artist. She she, she is here. taking it in as if you were to listen so, yep. to someone else's song. Songwriter, songwriter. Yeah, love that. I'm fully sweating, panicking. I hope she likes it. Or she goes, nah. I will, I will die of laughter. <laughs> it's happening right now. Okay, wait, wait, wait. These headphones are so dangerous. I just like. Got brought to another world. Yeah, you were I in another. I love it. Another really? Universe. She loves it. She loves it. Confirmed. <laughs> that was good. That was so fun. I was like, <laughs> I have a, like, I really listened to lyrics the first time I listened to a song. We saw you studying. We were yeah. like, what is she studying? <laughs> and every time, like, the label people are, are like, they don't listen to it. So they whenever don't. we're picking a song, I'm like, do you hear what that just said? Like, yeah. that doesn't make any sense for me, but. 
I love that was so fun. Oh my god, thank you. Thanks for nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks for your time for listening to that. Yes. Um, you should do that for a while. Just force people to listen to it and then record their oh. body language. Nope. Oh. <laughs> oh my, you're so cute and shy. <laughs> shy. <laughs> I like never ever play my music for anyone. I get so nervous. Or I'll oh. if like my parents are like, just play it for us and like I'll put it on and leave. I can't. I get so. No, it is the worst. No, the worst thing ever is playing for your label. Like all the hard work you've done, and then being like, "It's a true test. It's the like, last. <laughs> it's the last like go like that this. you need." Yeah. Yeah. No, that I did like the play meeting the for yeah, and they're like, um, how did that go? rating them and like rating all the songs? I was like, what? oh, I'm so scared. But they ended up liking everything, so oh. I was happy. I mean, yeah, it must have, if it's coming out. Oh <laughs> um, yeah. Right? We just changed a song. Well, we finished the album and then we changed a song two days ago. So, oh my goodness. Or like three to four days ago. I don't know. So I had to re record one song and now I'm almost positive we're done. But it needs to come out in June. So before tour. Can you say how many songs it is? It's 12 songs. I've yeah. already said that. It's my lucky number. Okay, so I was oh, like, smart. I need 12. We were talking about. They said they would not, my label would not let me do 13, which like I'm fine with. That's a scary number. Yeah, they, they like Spooky restrict number. it, right? <laughs> or they like say like how many you can or can't do. I always end up doing 15. I think in my contract I'm supposed to, but mm. I can't do more. But I'm always like, but I have 20 songs. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, let's cut it back. And I really tried to have like 14 on this album or less, but I was like, I can't live without this song. I need it. <laughs> and then the deluxe will come out too. Those are great. I didn't even think of that. Number. I didn't the, the, think the of deluxe. a deluxe. Oh my god! You got to do a deluxe. Do There's deluxe. always a deluxe. That's like rounds, you know. <laughs> That's Target so scary. Oh my god! Deluxe. I, I feel like now that I have a system, I, this like whole process will be so much easier next time. And yeah. like, I want to do. This is your I just first wanna, album ever. Mm-hmm, but oh I want to do god. like a thousand more. That was so much. <laughs> like it was so much fun. Thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. I love it. Yeah, and it's different every process, and you'll find new people every time, and you'll mm-hmm. make new friends. That Gian guy you met downstairs, Gian Stone, we love him. Good him? guy, yeah. great producer. Great guy, great producer. Like, I want him in my family now, and mm-hmm. I didn't even know he existed, like, a year ago. So, That's so crazy. you'll find family th- through music, and, like, I would die if you want to write songs with me. I could teach you some tricks, and... I would die, oh, my to, God. No, like, okay. <sighs> so... When I started this whole music process, I was like, I sang my whole life, but I've never really got into it because what do you, I was going to college. I don't know. There's not much left to do once you're kind of in college and like trying to just get into any school. I was like, I'm not getting into, I applied to Alabama. I knew I could get in there and then I was like, okay, we'll figure it out. And then once I started all this, my manager was in the music business and was like, your dad told me you sing, like come in the studio, we'll try it. I was like, no, I'm not doing that, that's so scary. And then finally I went in, recorded, and they were like, okay, we need to put you in vocal lessons, do that. So they're like, pick your song. And I picked like, I'm gonna lose you. And I was like, I love that song. And I was like sitting on my bathroom floor with my computer on my toilet, like, like so no, nervous. I mean, tough song to sing. Why would you pick that song? I mean, Megan, you I hate just, singing I, that on it tour because so it's so hard, hard to sing. sing. I can get favorite. through it, and then I get that chorus. I'm like, nah, like it's up there. Yeah, I can't do the full thing, but <laughs> it is really it's I, respect. Live, really fun to live, sing. I always take it down a full step. I'm like, we're going down, boys. I can't do it. <sighs> I love it. It's hard, but wow, I'm honored. Thank you for singing to my songs. <laughs> Thank you for knowing my music. Um, I love your music. I love you. I love your family. They seem lovely. Yeah. And you guys, you guys do a lot and it's great what you do. Wait, I have a question. What? Um, so <laughs> <laughs> um, that song you had blow up on TikTok recently. Title. How was that? How like, did that happen? Were you confused? Like, yes. We were all confused. I remember telling him and he was like, what? I was like, why? Title? Title, why? why? <laughs> I was like, because it's a bop and I knew it. Like, yeah. also I knew it six years ago mm-hmm. like seven years ago but it kind of re-inspired you for this this album is album. like doo as you can hear mm-hmm. it reignited um, that doo that flame. modern doo that's why we're trying to do this elegant type, like, <laughs> mod yeah. fierce Marilyn yeah that, like, that was just super random who like brought it up first or did you my mommy brought really? it to me and said um I think this is blowing up do it and I was like <laughs> okay I was so excited I remember my heart was pounding and I was 
I was like, oh my God, the world's going to hear this song that I always wanted them to hear because that was supposed to be my second single after bass. Mm -hmm. And then we did a music video. He was in it with a camera. It showed his future. Yeah, it was foreshadowing. And then they were like, we're not going to put it out. I was like, what? And they're like, we're doing lips are moving. I was like, okay. (laughs) That's so crazy. Yeah. So TikTok is my favorite place ever. So you called it, but it just took a while. Took a minute. Yeah. Me and LA Reid were like, this is the one. Oh, really? You worked with LA? Yeah. That's who I work with. Yeah. Hey, Co, dude. I yeah. think we should face out him later. Oh my gosh. He's, I'm like the worst at responding. He gets so mad. Every, well, my team gets really mad at me because I don't answer text messages because I like answer in my head and then I'm like. Then you forget. Yeah, I me forget. too. I'm and terrible. I've been abusing the do not disturb and I just like. It's well, nice. not look I don't even know that power. You don't do that? No. Dude, you pop it's that little Somebody moon, did it to me little though. crescent like, moon What's on. What's going on? No one, yeah. You go to text someone, it's like they have do not disturb on. Get fucked. Get fucked. <laughs> like never, you are not getting to that. You did that to LA? No, I do it to my No, whole just in phone. general. Yeah, <laughs> like to the phone. Okay, okay. You can't no, just I pick know. one specific like, person. Okay, it's like I thought someone everybody, picked me and I was like, we need to Goodbye. Talk. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Sick. My team is gets mad. I never answer anything. They're laughing. Yeah, I'm the worst. The only people I answer is my parents because I'm like, I don't want to get in trouble. I love your uh, relationship with the fam. We, yeah, we we're big our, family people. Yeah, mm-hmm. like Keep watching your show. Forever. I was like, It'll oh, it's like us. Like we all moved out yeah. here. We've from been East asked Coast. to do. We've been asked to do reality shows, but not all of us are like down to be on camera. Like my mm-hmm. mom is so shy. Yeah. So shy. <laughs> um, but uh, so we might do a sitcom about it someday. But who knows? That'd be fun. Once right? you finish the backyard, you can. Yeah. That backyard. <laughs> Ten years. We got to put it on the YouTube now. Everyone's heard about on it. The it. <laughs> on the YouTube. We got to put that backyard on the YouTube. I'm on the right channel. Now. Okay. Um, well, Anyways, thank you so she, much for. She, she got therapy. We yeah, gotta yeah, let her go. Thank you so much for doing yeah. this. You thank are you for doing this. We, we awesome. do not deserve you. You're amazing. Superstar. You're so very talented. Hardworking. We love individual. you. What else can we throw at her? You're gorgeous. Ooh, oh my God. Stop. <laughs> it's well done on so life. Sweet. Stay with your family. Keep them close. It'll keep you sane for the rest of your life. I promise. Thanks, guys. That's Dixie D'Amelio, <laughs> okay. guys. Dixie, working on a pod. All on it. socials. Wait, blast whatever you want to blast again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Album. Wild single. out in two days. Woo-hoo. Album yes. in June. Yeah. Yeah. That's 12 it. 12 songs. Get ready. 12 songs. Let's go. Okay, love you. Bye. Bye, bye everybody. Thank bye you for bye. listening. Watching. Working on, working on. Yeah.